This is Inelia Benz for Ascension101.com. On the past few weeks, I have been thinking about all these things that I do in my daily life to raise my personal vibration, my physical body's vibration, the vibration of my environment, uh, society as, uh, in general as well. And then I thought, you know, if I could just film it and put it on YouTube, then other people could actually start doing the same type of things, yeah? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a series of YouTubes and I'm going to carry it out for as long as I can <laughs> where I go shopping, cooking um, and just give the updates for that, energetically speaking, what's happening on the planet that day or that month, that week. I think it's really important for us to stay in touch and also it provides a lot of validation for the things that we are experiencing that sometimes we might think it's something personal but when somebody else talks about it then you realize hold on a minute this is something that we're all going through or maybe a majority of people are going through so anyway today I wanted to talk to you about a couple of things one of them is that I'm, I've started a little project about growing our own food. Uh, I've heard and lots of people have sent me information about how growing one's own food is much better because one, it's organic, if you do it organically, and I would suggest that you do. Secondly, you're able to affect the plants that you're growing through your own DNA, so if you put some saliva on the seeds or on the soil and there's other ways you can do it as well and then the food will be genetically um, will will know what it is that you need from the plants now I consider everything that we ingest as uh, that has been alive to be sentient I consider plants to be sentient and they're not any way inferior or superior to, to cows and pigs and uh, air, chickens and eggs and products like animal products that we might ingest. Plants are also, if you grow them, um, there are certain plants that produce with, your, with their permission and with their elementals permission, they really can support you physically on the planet. And one of the things that I have um, tapped into is that they also provide an amazing connection an amazing connection to Gaia yeah to our entire planet they, they give that bridge of connection to the elementals that are all around us all the time and they provide that connection with our own physical bodies because our physical bodies the atoms and um, the molecules are all made of Gaia's material, right? At a larger spectrum, most of it is water, and water is on Earth, yeah? And the water we ingest is part of Earth, is the atoms that have been here, Gaia. And the rest, you know, like the minerals, the calcium, the, and all the living tissue, the carbon tissue and everything else, are from Gaia's materials. I know there are a lot of people who have stopped eating and some, some of them have stopped drinking water and can live extremely well healthy lives for many months, years and sometimes forever. They, they no longer need that uh, ingestion of materials. And I had a choice to do that a couple of years back. I didn't take it. One of the reasons was that the, one of the best best things that I find about the planet, yeah, are strawberries and chocolate and just the flavor and the, the whole social aspect of eating as well. And also, because I found that putting physical material into my physical body from Gaia gave me that connection, not just with Gaia, but with the rest of human society. Now, that's not going to be like forever, right? As we find other things that bring us that amount of joy and also that connection, because it's, it's very like 3D type of connection when we think about the physical aspects of the food going into our bodies. And I needed that because 
most of the time I'm, I'm not really fully on this planet or on this dimension so I needed some sort of reinforcing tissue or matter to to connect me into it but as we as the whole planet's vibration rises that will become less and less necessary and I find even now for example I go through cycles where sometimes for days all I need to do is to drink water I drink distilled water and I need a couple of bites of food a day and that's all I need and then other times I will eat and, and I need loads and loads of food to be able to to function properly and they go through cycles like sometimes they can be weeks yeah um, sometimes it's just days so I'm going to be exploring all these type of things to see you know what can we integrate to raise our own personal vibrations and the, our physical vibration as well so the first thing we're going to do is where I'm going to introduce you to a gadget and I'm going to go and fetch it so I'm going to pause this and then start filming again Okay, so here's the envelope. It arrived from Australia. I don't know if you remember, a few weeks back, I, um, I requested or I sent out um, an intent that I had to test uh, chem busters, yeah? Chem busters are some, a technology using organite, which people claim that uh, will dissolve chemtrails if you, if you have them in your, in your garden or environment. And I wanted to test it to see, is it real? Does it work? Nobody sent me a combustor, but this company in Australia sent me this gadget and they said it works just like a combustor, but actually works better. And they went into some detail about why the technology or the way that the, the um, combustors are being created or organized is being created right now is not really very uh, good for us. So here it is. So. Um, I opened it but I haven't seen what's inside and um, yep, here we go let's see what it's like they told me to go into the website to see how it works so it's this is it it's called a geocleanse I don't know if you can see the, the type there it might be too sunny here. <laughs> um, and, um, and their website is orgonenergy.com. So anyway, we're going to see if it works, right? I'm going to be testing this. Let's see. To see about the chemtrails and also all the other things that they say that this is useful for. Let's see. I can get into it. <laughs> right. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so it feels like um, a little bit plasticky or rubbery. It says geopathic stress and electromagnetic radiation harmonizer and Wi Fi harmonizer. Now, recently I um, I was looking at an article who, which I was sent um, that talked about how a group of uh, girls in Europe, uh, students in a school, had done an experiment where they had placed plants, uh, seeds, seedlings, or seeds, yeah it was seeds, next to a Wi-Fi router. And they had placed another box away from or in a room that didn't have it. And the results were amazing. The, the, the ones in the room that had the Wi-Fi router didn't grow. And the ones that were in the other room grew normally. So I'm going to, going, I'm going to test. I'm going to, once I plug this in, I'm going to put a, some plants or some seedlings, some seeds. I bought some seeds as well to see if they grow. And I'm also going to report if I feel anything different energetically as the days go forth and also up there to see you know are there any kind of results 
uh, on my personal environment. At the moment we have lovely fluffy, fluffy white clouds in a deep blue sky, which means no chemtrails at this moment. But I think they did have some this morning. All right, so very exciting. That's the first thing. Very cool. We're going to be talking about that in the next few months. I said I'm going to test it for six months. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, this is another little gadget I bought. And thank you for everybody who sent donations. Your donation is making this happen, this possible. I'm able to spend more time creating these videos, getting the things that I need. This is a little camera. And I'm not really sure how it works, but the sound is not really good, so I had to get some other gadgets and stiff things for, for the sound, right? I'm going to try and test it. So I switch it on. I can clip it onto my clothes. And this is what I'm going to do to go shopping. So in the next episode, you're going to see about conscious shopping and raising our vibration and awareness through shopping. OK, so I can. I think it says to hang this there in case it falls off. I'm going to switch it on and see what happens. So if, if this works, then you'll be seeing what I'm seeing right now. And I can look at around. Hopefully everything will be showing up really nicely. Um, so one of the things also that I wanted to talk to you about today is the, the yard. This, well, this little patio is like an experiment that I'm doing to see if the, the, the plants um, that I'm connecting with that yield the foods that we need in a, in a more integrated manner. So I'm just going to give you a quicker walk around. If it worked, if this is working, then you're going to see really well. If not, then <laughs> until next time. Now, let's have a look. So this is very interesting. The sound from this little camera didn't actually work. But you can see the picture is quite good. We, want, we will be able to use this for the store um, trips, but with a different recorder. <laughs> so here we have a plant that I bought in a store that is not very good. It's not a conscious store. I'm doing an experiment to see if we can actually create or balance the energy in this plant with the elemental, which is really disconnected from the plant. The plant came in a little pot full of chemicals and this the roots are actually solid it's very unbalanced we're going to see if we can actually um, empower it to become balanced with uh, the soil the physical aspects and also energetically just help it to reconnect with its elemental so we're going to see how that progresses in the next few months it's going to be interesting here we have some tomato plants um, I can see now that the camera wasn't <laughs> pointing in the right direction. We have some basil and some heirloom tomatoes. Um, they're all organic. Uh, the, the basil is organic. The tomatoes come from a store that sells things um, that has... They don't use chemicals, right, at the store. So that's really good. And we're going to see if these grow in a little tray um, so that people who don't have a large yard can grow their own food. See how much food we can grow in here without it overcrowding. We're working very closely with the elementals for these two. This other tomato plant is hanging in a little basket. So that also uses a very tiny little bit of uh, space. And uh, we're going to work with elementals to see if that's good enough or what other things it might need to really provide us with some gorgeous tomatoes. Religious. Not sure if that's going to work, but it's all experimentation. I wanted to try different um, spaces that we can use to grow stuff. Yeah, uh, these plants that need to be potted, they're just here waiting at the moment. The snails can't climb. These plants over here are for butterflies and for um, hummingbirds. So <laughs> And uh, that's it for today. Until the next episode, this is Inelia Benz for Ascension 101 saying bye bye. <laughs>